cohort analysis cohort simply means a group a group okay based on some feature we will create a group i mean dictionary definition of cohort is nothing but a group so the question here is how much revenue is generated annually by each customer cohort how much revenue is generated by each customer cohort or what is the sales coming from each customer cohort end of the day what, what cohort analysis actually means is we will first segregate the customers into different groups based on some feature or some attribute and then we will see how each customer group or each customer cohorts cohort is uh, performing over a period of time or what is their contribution towards the business over a period of time so here you can see that the business definitely of sample superstore uh, was established in 2011 and we have data for four years 2011 12 13 and 14. we have data for four years in sample superstore starting from 2011. Now, 2011 the year when the business was established let us take that the let us consider the sales that happened in that year to be a hundred percent okay so overall sales that happened in 2011 i'm treating it as a hundred percent then when the business was established in 2011 the sales that happened means some customers definitely came to the store and they made purchases which helped superstore sell the products so these customers purchased the products which gave so and so sale value or let me just show it in terms of numbers okay so sales of 484247 has happened in 2011 Definitely, this is this sales is because of the customers who came and made a purchase with Superstore in 2011, the year when the business was established. So, all the customers who made purchases with Superstore in 2011, I am going to put them in one group called as 2011 group. So, these are my customers who belong to 2011 cohort. Job done. Business is completed on in 2011. Then the next year came 2012. In 2012 also, some business happened. And overall, we can see that we have got about slightly less. The sales of, two, uh, of Superstore went down in 2012, slightly declined. Not a very big margin, but slightly declined. Overall, if this was 484, maybe this is around 470. Okay. So it is basically 105 plus 365, around 470. But did this entire business that happened in 2010 2012 is this because of the customers who came to the business and purchased the products in 2012 or were there some customers who are already existing customers with superstore who purchased in 2011 and have come back in 2012 also to make the purchase okay so this breakup you can see that is cohort analysis each group and its contribution towards the revenue or towards the sales in this case so i can see that sales of 484247 came from the customers in 2011 some customers of 2011 returned to the business in 2012 also and made a purchase this light color blue bar indicates the customers who belong to 2011 cohort who made their first purchase in superstore in 2011 and became the customers of superstore in 2011 but continued to shop with superstore even in 2012 so most of the sales even in 2012 is coming from your 2011 customers they have made purchases in 2012 also and that is contributing to a sales of 365144 apart from old customers who are coming back and making purchases again in the following year repeat customers there will also be some customers who will join the business new or who probably visited Superstore for the first time in 2012 and made a purchase with Superstore in 2012. So all those customers who made their first purchase with Superstore in 2012 will belong to the 2012 group, which is nothing but 2012 cohort. And we can see here that 105388 sales is happening because of the customers who came to the business for the first time in 2012 and made, and made a purchase with Superstore. Okay. Now 2012 finish, 2013 came, 2013 also the sales improved significantly here and we can see it has gone beyond 600k. But this, how, what is the individual contribution of each and every customer cohort, each and every group towards the 600k, let us see. So 2011 customers who continue be, to be customers in 2012 
and some of the 2011 customers continue to be customers in 2013 also so most of them are coming up back in 2013 as well sales of 454215 dollars is happening because of the 2011 cohort people who first joined the business in 2011 who are continuing to come to superstore in 2013 also and are making purchases contributing to so much sales now people who joined the business in 2012 some of them might have returned in 2013 as well so so much sales is happening from the 2012 group and then some customers might have joined the business new in the year of 2013 they might have walked into the store for the first time in 2013 and made a purchase so they made their first purchase in 2013 so these customers will automatically fall under the 2013 group or 2013 cohort because that is the first year in which they made their first purchase with superstore okay very less revenues coming from them so they're just new customers very few new customers got added to the business in 2013 then 2014 came in 2014 this is the revenue that is coming from 2011 cohort significant this is the revenue coming from 2012 cohort revenue coming from 2013 cohort and very very less revenue from 2014 cohort means people who have joined the business in 2014 for the first time and made their first purchase with superstore in 2014 okay so this is cohort analysis we will see based on the year a customer joined the business we will put them in one group called as cohort so the customers who have joined the business in 2011 will belong to 2011 cohort customers who have joined the business in 2012 will belong to the 2012 cohort people who have joined in 2013 will belong to 2013 cohort and people who have joined in 2014 will belong to 2014 cohort and we are looking at the sum of sales contributed by each of this customer cohorts if you observe this graph then you will notice that customer loyalty or customer is good customer retention capability of superstore is extremely good once a customer they are continuing to be customers of superstore okay very few customers we are losing even if we did lose some customers in 2012 they have come back in 2013 and in 14 also right so once you once a customer walks in once a customer forever a customer customer retention is extremely good but if you try to comment about customer acquisition capability of superstore you will notice that it is very very poor so many customers acquired in 2011 it fell down to such a small number in 2012 further declined in 2013 and almost insignificant in 2014 so they are so we can say that superstore business is not able to attract new customers however it is e able to retain existing customers okay so when if i have to comment about customer acquisition i will say it is very poor and if i have to comment about customer retention i will say it is extremely good so cohort analysis will help you answer two questions customer acquisition as well as customer retention uh, of an organization of any organization and cohort analysis is very important pretty often you will encounter scenarios where the client will ask you to perform cohort analysis on the data it's not just sum of sales right now we are looking at sum of sales you can also look at the count of customers if you want okay like if you bring customer id right click and bring it i will just replace sales with count of customer id then i will get to know exactly how many customers have joined the business in 2011 595 customers made purchases with superstore in 2011 437 of them came back in 2012 so out of 595 only 437 came back many people did not return in 2012 and the business acquired 136 new customers in 2012 then from 437 you see 484 it has increased so of the customers who made purchase in 2011 only 437 people came back in 2012 but it increased 484 people came back in 2013 so maybe these people uh, who did not return to the business in 2012 were exploring the other options present in the market and then they realized superstore is giving them the best deal and they come back right anything could have happened so out of 595 customers of 2011 484 of them are still customers in 2013 also 517 of them even those people who were probably still exploring the other options have returned in 2014 out of 595 517 customers continue to be your customers even three years after the business is established even in the fourth year which is a very good accomplishment for any business so if your customers are coming back 
and making purchases it means your customer retention capability is good you're taking good care of your customers acquisition only 136 new customers joined the business in 2012 595 it started with and then only 136 new customers in 2012 only 51 customers in 2013 new customers only 12 or 11 here 11 new customers who are coming back in 2014 so acquiring new customers is going down year over year it is becoming very insignificant customer retention is extremely good customer acquisition is very poor so this kind of analysis you can perform on your data using cohort analysis